Yeah, I know. I just announced my re-election campaign. I get that age is completely reasonable issue. It's on everybody's mind. And everyone, by everyone, I mean the New York Times. <laughs> Headline, Biden's advanced age is a big issue. Trump's, however, is not. Uh, that was President Biden at the White House Correspondents' Dinner on Saturday, joking about his age. And reporters, as you heard, they're cheering when he mentioned his re-election campaign, while the president was also mocking them. Listen to this. In a lot of ways, this dinner sums up my first two years in office. I'll talk for 10 minutes, take zero questions, and cheerfully walk away. <laughs> How many Krisha press conferences has this president given? Uh, I think he's one of the top three lowest rated presidents, or, you know, the numbers back up. The numbers he back up. He doesn't talk to the press, but he, they're cheering for him. They're cheering for him, but really the joke is on the press here, right? I feel like Joe Biden is coming out and speaking about how uh, he hasn't given these press conferences, but he's really laughing at those who are not asking the tough questions. It's a mockery of what is occurring here. And the fact that even Jen Psaki said he doesn't wake up before 9 a.m. The fact that he spoke about Silicon Valley Bank was a real shocker here. Um, but when it comes to his age, it's really not about age, though. That's that's the thing I like to differentiate. It's about his mental capacity. And, and there are plenty of people who are up in age, but we've seen the cognitive decline of Joe Biden even just last week when he was asked questions about where he was. Yeah, Chris? Yeah. Uh my Greek mother-in-law is sharp as a whip, and she's older than Joe Biden. There you go. But my thing is, that, you know, you, you're taking a look at some of the statements that were made last week by Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama cheering this thing. Does anybody actually believe that? This is one of the most uh, well-managed presidencies I've ever seen. It's like that movie Boomerang back from the 1990s. He's like Lady Eloise. He's the name <laughs> on the package that's being handled. Who's doing the handling behind the scenes? That's what I want to know. Well, he's getting the questions in advance, according to, uh, you know, well, as we saw on a card with the LA Times reporter in face right there. And here's the question she's going to ask you. The irony, Knock it out of the park there, Joe Biden. You know? The irony is I think the children last week were asking some of the toughest questions. And Joe Biden responded, oh, yes, Ireland. I, I wonder if the kid prompted him to say that, by the way, the child. I, I wonder if uh, the child, I saw somewhere that if the child asked, oh, he was in China, how Joe Biden would have reacted, right? <laughs> well, and you know what, Chris? I mean, we talked about this a lot, but I mean, he really has not taken a strong stance against China, whether it's the military threat the Chinese are or now uh, threatening against Taiwan, uh, or whether it's regards to the, the, the way that they handled mm -hmm. COVID in the lab, or the way that they have completely circumvented, uh, uh, attempting to circumvent banking regulations here in the United States, or SEC uh, regulations. Police stations downtown. Police there's, stations. There's, a myriad, there's a myriad of things that have been, been taking place. But again, this is all coming out right now in, in these myriad of investigations that are taking place. And uh, again, I think it's going to raise questions in people's minds. Yeah. Really quick, Chris, I want to get your thoughts on uh, what we talked about earlier about uh, Ron DeSantis. It looks like he's going to be announcing soon uh, as, as far as the money raised between he and President Trump. Vivek Ramaswamy, he has also raised a lot of money. So talk about that. Please. Sure. Um, you know, certainly Ron Ron DeSantis has raised a significant amount of money. I think he needs to at this point because the polls are showing he is facing serious declines in terms of what he's uh, going around the country saying. And even he's actually losing some donors, too, um, with respect to this D Disney lawsuit that's come out and also some of his comments on abortion. Um, donors are pulling out and he just doesn't have the name recognition. But yes, he is raising a significant amount. Vivek Ramaswamy is taking a real uh, swing at it in terms of maybe even taking on Ron DeSantis with a lot of his comments. Commentary, even last week, putting uh, you know some comments out there about uh, you know ra race um, and gender. So he he's gotten a significant amount of attention. As so late. so if 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 Vivek goes after DeSantis, right. that ends up helping Donald Trump. It does. Yeah. Final thought? Listen, is it going to be a, a battle for who gets uh, the vice presidential nomination, or are we going to actually see some actual debates mm -hmm. between these various different people? Yeah. We've seen the ads all over the place now tearing each other apart. I think uh, ripping apart the Republican Party is not the way to go at this well, point. Well, August, get ready. We're yeah. going to be having them, yeah. Uh, the debates are going to be this year.